Hello everyone, I am from mobile smspk.net and today I am going to review Qmobile S6S, so let's get started. I have already made unboxing video of Qmobile S6S, and recommending you to watch that video as well. Qmobile S6S is latest phone from Qmobile, which is a slimmed down version of Qmobile S6, phone has 5 inch HD IPS display with 720p resolution, phone also has 8 megapixel back and 5 megapixel front camera, and powered by 1.3 GHz quad core processor coupled with 2 GB of RAM. Let's start with call quality of the phone, call quality is good, voices are crisp and clear on both ends, I have not faced any distortion during my testing. Let me give you physical overview of the phone. On front, there is 5 megapixel camera along with sensor and 5 inch HD IPS screen. Notification LED is missing on this phone. On top of the phone there is 3.5 mm headphone jack. Volume rockers and power button on the right. Micro USB port and microphone on the bottom. Nothing on left side of the phone. On back there is 8 megapixel camera along with LED flash, fingerprint sensor and speaker grill at the bottom. Phone has on-screen navigational buttons, which I prefer, but it is all personal preference. Build quality of the phone is good, phone feels solid and sturdy in hand, it is made of plastic, but phone does not feels cheap, I have not noticed any sound or creaks during my testing. Let me show you how fast fingerprint sensor is, fingerprint sensor is fast and accurate than Qmobile S6. You can apply fingerprint security on application level as well, to prevent unauthorized use. You can also assign application on swiping on fingerprint sensor, let me show you how you can do that. If you swipe left on fingerprint sensor then any assigned application will open. Similarly you can assign apps shortcuts to all four directions. You can remove assigned application as well. Let me show you how you can add fingerprint on this phone. Let me show you the weight of the phone. Phone has 16 GB of internal storage from which around 10.9 GB is available out of the box, you can always expand internal storage through micro SD card slot, phone supports up to 32 GB card. Phone comes with 2 GB of RAM, from which almost 1.3 GB is available on first boot. Phone has dedicated dual SIM slots and separate micro SD card slot, so you can use two SIMs and micro SD cards simultaneously, phone supports 3G and up to 32 GB micro SD card. Phone has backfiring speaker which I don't prefer, as sound get easily muffled if you put your phone on the desk. Let me show you how loud speaker is, and how it sounds if you put phone on flat surface. Phone has 5 inch HD IPS display with 720p resolution and 294 ppi, display looks sharp, but brightness is a bit low on this phone and colors are washed out. Viewing angles are not very impressive on this phone, you can notice color shift on extreme angles. Even though it is not a full HD display, but you won't notice any pixel on the fonts. Sunlight visibility is acceptable, you can use this phone outside but you need to turn brightness slider to full, if you want to use it outdoors.
there are additional themes comes with this phone, and this is how they looks like. Phone is powered by 1.3 GHz quad-core processor with MediaTek MT658032 bit chipset. Phone also has 2 GB of RAM and Mali 400 MP GPU, both CPU and GPU are exactly same on this phone as S6 Plus, so I am hoping same kind of performance on gaming review on this phone. I have already made gaming review video of Qmobile S6 Plus, and you can watch it if you like. Phone has accelerometer, proximity, and light sensors. Let me show you the benchmark scores. Here is the Antutu score. And here is the Geekbench single and multi-core score. I will make comparison and speed test video of Qmobile S6S with Qmobile S6 Plus, so if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do it now, so you will get the alert when that video will be available. Day-to-day -day performance of the phone is fast, and I have not noticed any lags or hiccups. Phone supports up to two-finger touch. Phone does not support OTG, so you have to rely on memory card, and this phone only supports 32 GB micro SD card. Qmobile S6s runs on Android Marshmallow 6.0 and UI is very light, and close to the stock Android. That's why phone performs well in day-to-day -day tasks. Let's take a look at some of the additional features available on the phone. There are a couple of gestures available on this phone, tap to wake and quick start. As name suggest you can wake up the phone by double tapping on screen while phone is on sleeping mode. Quick start works like black screen gestures from which you can open assigned app by drawing symbols on the screen, but this function is very laggy on this phone, and it takes ages to start any app. There is an option to set schedule time to power off or on the phone by itself, this feature is useful if you want to power off the phone at night hours while sleeping. Just like other Qmobile phones this phone also comes with number of bloatwares. Some useful apps are pre-installed on the phone like File Manager, Facebook, and WhatsApp. There is Gameloft folder which contains trial version of games, which consumes lots of storage of the phone, and you can not delete them, but you can disable them. Phone is powered by 2200 mAh user replaceable battery. Battery timing of the phone is good. I have managed to get around 4.5 hours of screen on time with Wi-Fi on, and with maximum brightness during my testing, so it is quite possible you might get better battery time, it takes around 1 hour and 30 minutes to charge the phone. Phone comes with 8 megapixel back and 5 megapixel front camera, quality of back camera is good, but camera interface is very simple. All standard modes are available on camera which usually comes with all Qmobile phones, so nothing special here. Let me show you the shutter speed and picture quality of the camera. Here is the picture quality of back camera, you can notice that all the details of the picture are clear when you zoom it. Here is the picture quality of front camera, details are not clear and picture looks distorted when you zoom the picture. You can download camera samples of Qmobile S6s from my website, link is mentioned in the description. Overall this phone is better than Qmobile S6 Plus, but not as good as Qmobile S6, but this phone is cheaper than S6 so nothing much to complain about. Fingerprint sensor on this phone is better than S6, this phone has backfiring speaker but it is louder than S6 Plus, so for me there are not so many drawbacks on this phone. 
Things will be more clear when I will compare it with S6 Plus, so be connected with me for that showdown. So that was the review of Qmobile S6S, gaming review of Qmobile S6S will be coming soon on this channel, so it is a good idea to subscribe to my channel and get the alert when that video will be available. If you like this video please hit the like button, and if you have any questions, feedbacks, or suggestions do let me know in the comments section below, for more information please do visit my website.